Hello and welcome. My name is Deepak Mishra and you are watching 10 Minutes International. This video I have uh, thought about, I have promised like a couple of uh, weeks or maybe one week back that I will make a video on this topic. Uh, this is in response to one of the query or one of the question uh, put by one of our uh, viewers or one of the members of a Facebook group. Uh, and the question was very valid. Question. Uh, most of the candidates who talk to me or who write on Facebook groups and everything, the questions are uh, like the basic in the beginning. Later on, they understand everything. But in the beginning, the first question is uh, how easy or difficult it is to get in Germany. How is the salary structure in Germany? How easy to, is it to get visa or citizenship in Germany? How is the lifestyle? Uh, on those things. A very few people talk about the quality of training that they receive or they will receive in, in the, during the post-graduation. So uh, this question where this uh, young man has asked about uh, quality of education, uh, that I would like to share shed some light on that since I'm already doing uh, like I'm doing it since four years here. So I have some ideas, some experience in that regard. So I will give you uh, an overview of in the pros and cons way. What are the pros and what are the cons? Uh, of the system because uh, if it was only bad then uh, it would not be recommended or people would not have come uh, if it was uh, like all positive then why would somebody go to US or UK people would directly come to Germany okay so uh, that means that there are some pros and some cons we are going to take up a talk about them one by one by one so today since I have like I'm on duty right now you can see in the background this is my work station like our Arbeitszimmer uh, so I have just jotted down a few points so that I'll look so I'll look in the list and then talk because like anytime the phone can ring and I was not in that uh, state of mind to like repeat everything again and again because duties are tiring sometimes uh, so I just jotted down a few points and thought that okay I should use the time uh, uh, hopefully the phone does not ring okay so do you see the first positive point is that uh, the PG degree that person gets in Germany that is has a very high international recognition. The Indian MCI might not recognize it at present, but internationally, when you talk about uh, other Gulf countries or Australia or Canada or any any European country for that matter, uh, they have a very high reputation for a German Farkats. That is one thing. Uh, the negative thing attached to that is that it is all in German language. That means you can imagine that understanding the deep concepts, the medical facts and all those things, uh, to understand everything uh, in a foreign language, that would be difficult task. That can be difficult. Uh, it will take few years till you get used to the terminology, till you get used to uh, understanding the medical literature. So your growth in the system your growth, your knowledge level in the system will grow very slowly. What you might be able to do as a second year resident or what your knowledge level would be as a second year resident in in your like own language, maybe English, uh, your knowledge level will not that be that high as if you're a second year resident in Germany. If you're a second year uh, in Germany, then that means you're, you're still waiting for an approbation exam. You're learning about uh, different, de uh, different departments and you're preparing for that exam. So, couple of years, two, three years get wasted. Yeah, that is the negative point. And also the language is foreign. So uh, you have to get, I mean, two, three years, it, you take time to adjust and adapt to the system. That is one thing. Uh, second thing is that, second posit like positive thing about uh, PG in Germany is that uh, you can aim for branch of your choice. Like I find it very funny when, uh, like now it's been long back, but when I was uh, like self uh, myself preparing for USMLE and then I came to Germany and all. So uh, every year when the counseling results came from NEET or that time like MHCT or All India or AIMS, then uh, the Facebook used to be flooded with uh, the dream of my like uh, branch of my dream and my dream branch. Somebody got microbiology. Uh, wrote uh, my dream comes true and now I'm going to join microbiology at KEM or GSMC Mumbai and we knew that person since five years six years and we always knew that that person wanted to become a surgeon so now that is a compromise because that was a second attempt and in one attempt uh, did not get anything second attempt a uh, person got microbiology so took microbiology okay so because uh, the, the choice of uh, branch 
was not available because the competition was so high that uh, one was never sure that will I get it, will I not get it, even after spending two years preparing for a neat exam, what if one does not get it, what to do? Okay, so person made a compromise and took microbiology for rest of life. Now, so a person will be doing microbiology for five years, ten years, twenty years down the line. You cannot change your branch. Or if if you change, if you plan to change, then again it's the same turmoil, same exam, same everything. So that is the the branch of your choice in India. It is very difficult. I mean, I'm not talking about top uh, 500 or top thousand people who uh, score well and they get branch of their choice, and that is fine. But rest people they compromise, and then they like feel. I mean, somehow uh, they console themselves that okay now this uh, you can do well in this branch also then there are four other people who say that okay then they show you four successful for example microbiologists uh, who have done a great research and maybe somebody has got a nobel prize uh, or like i'm talking about e examples so somebody has got nobel prize and see then they will console so i'm not i have nothing against anybody i'm just using it as an example because i recollect now like uh, one facebook post from one of my colleague that's why I took this example. I have nothing against the microbiologists watching this video. Please do not take it personally. Uh, I have huge respect for all the fields. Uh, but I was just giving an example. So that thing, that branch of your choice, uh, that thing is possible in engineering. If somebody wants to say that, okay, I want to be a surgeon, uh, then he has the chance or she has the chance to be a surgeon. It might, it might happen that it might take six months extra, one year extra, maybe two years extra. In the beginning, you might get into anesthesia uh, and uh, later on after anesthesia, after approbation, everything, then you might get into surgery. Or maybe it happens that you get into anesthesia and you like the lifestyle so much from anesthesia that you don't want to become a surgeon because the lifestyle is so hectic. And you see the, 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 the way the surgeons work and the, how the number of our surgeons work, then you feel better that, okay, I mean, anesthesia, you earn the same money and you're happy being an anesthetist. So, uh, you can, you, there's a choice. That is one positive thing about uh, the system here. The choice is because number of applicants are less compared to the number of seats available. Yeah, but th the same thing. Then the negative part what comes is the the training, the vital buildup that is not standardized. For example, in US or in India, for that matter, in India the training is only for three years. So in three years, the candidate has to learn everything, do everything, and come out as a complete like specialist. Now, how many hospitals actually uh, stick to the curriculum and train their residents to come out as specialists? That is questionable. Uh, maybe somebody from top universities or top uh, institutes uh, match that standards, but rest, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't know people from all institutes and I don't. I cannot judge their uh, skills and uh, knowledge. But then somehow it is understood that, okay, people who come uh, out of, are trained well, who come as, comes as a, Farkats or comes as a MD or MS has that particular skill set and a particular knowledge level. So in Germany, uh, that is a problem that it is not standardized. Exams are there, CLA exam is there. Uh, you will have to take Farkats exam after a uh, completion of your course. For surgical courses, it is six years. For medical courses, it is five years. So you'll have to take that. But uh, that is about reading books, like you can read books and take the exam. About surgical things, for example, how much you have operated how, uh, what you can operate, what you cannot operate, that nobody has checked, nobody has seen how your surgical skills are. That is not examined uh, even in Germany. So, and the training here is totally dependent upon your head of the department. So that means if your head of the department is uh, oriented on teaching, if the other team members, if Oberats, the consultants, they are oriented on teaching. Uh, if you are like batch, not batchmates, but the co-workers, the colleagues, they are inclined that, okay, the teamwork that they also learn, you also learn, it's like that, then you will learn. But if it's not that way, if they are this just uh, inclined to do like number of hours, how much you're you working, you come at 7, you go at uh, over that, uh, 16 o'clock and uh, you do your, do your day's work and you go home and you like relax and chill. Uh, nobody will bother if you have read or not read or if you have improved your skills. If you have not improved your skills, you will get less chance in, in operations. You will get less, I mean, you will be slowly sidelined. You will not be thrown away because they want somebody to do the scut work also. But if you are not up to date, if you are not improving yourself from your own initiative, they will not tell you to do that. That is the important thing, that the standardization is not there. 
uh, they do not demand from you that okay you do this you do this project or you do this research or you do you uh, anything there's not they are not demanding uh, maybe they are demanding at bigger places like say uh, university big top 10 universities there must be there will be demand otherwise your contract will not be extended and you will be thrown out basically uh, that might happen at big places but normally general places they will not demand from you if you are liking that that okay i'm coming on time going on time uh, my life is a little relaxed i'm coming doing my work and going home then you can con- keep continue doing that for years to come uh, they they might if you are nice to people your head of the department might also sign off that okay he has done this 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 surgery this this whatever the op catalog is uh, he might sign it off uh, and you might also uh, show that to the medical council and medical council will invite you for the exam and you can read those books and take the exam become a fakats okay but uh, what but you know in bottom of your heart that okay what you have done what you have not done what you know what you don't know and in your future when you treat patients when you come to that position that okay then that is expected from you then you know or don't know that shows up that is why uh, in germany the the training of residents it's from your own initiative if you are own uh, inclined to learn if you want to learn if you are working hard on that then you will learn that you will find people who will who will teach you because here as as because uh, as the training is not standardized as mean there is not com- no compulsion to do that hard work to go, go that extra uh, mile then there are people who like family people who have like children and everything who has to take children from kindergarten uh, like th- different limitations maybe some people are just plain lazy they are not interested in work, working hard so uh, then that filters out the teachers the, the senior people they are also looking for people who are passionate towards work who are passionate about medicine who are passionate about surgery so they are also looking because most of the times they don't find such people okay so in that way you have to show out that okay you are that passionate one and then you will get that understood some that support from that but then you cannot expect that since you are uh, rotating in one department or since you are working in in one department for 3 years and they will offer you anything that okay why don't you do this and why don't you? no no nobody will do that you have to show your initiative and then you have to ask for it or request for it and then if you have they are, if they appreciate your work if they like you then they definitely they you will get the chance and you will train and that is one thing that once that happens once you have broken that glass ceiling or ice ceiling Uh, once you have broken that then you climb the ladder very fast then you start learning very fast so because uh, here uh, another thing about fakats training is that in like uh, other countries it's like uh, first year you operate this small small thing second year you operate other things third year you operate these things like that in germany it's not like that you, op- you in the beginning you operate very very little okay from third year onwards you start operating something and from 5th year in 5th the 6th year you operate many things and during your 6th year the last year till you become and then in between you take your exam some time you pass the exam the next day you are fakats and from the next day you are allowed to operate or you are expected to operate things on your own during deans and all during 24 hours like for example i am now in 24 hours deans uh, luckily i have like it is uh, 2151 right now and uh, like i have Uh, cleared up all the note uh, note fall on uh, emergencies what were there till now and since like half an hour the phone has not rung but if some, some note fall comes some uh, fracture some some something and has to be operated then uh, i will have to call alpha oberats who is a consultant who is at home right now i am the only uh, orthopedic surgeon uh, resident present uh, in the hospital at present and the oberats Uh, will come and he will operate and if that oberats is experienced one then fine but if the oberats is the new guy like new farkats just last year farkats so just 6 months back farkats and he is doing this background duty intergroup duty then he it is his responsibility obviously i'll assist him but it is his responsibility to operate so then uh, that means that during around farkats you do lots you train a lot on beginning initial 4 years 3 years it's like you just do ground work you learn and for foreigners it's also better that you learn the system you know the system uh, surgically you don't learn too much okay i mean you don't don't learn surgical skills you see a lot that is the thing that you see a lot but you don't are not allowed to do much later on you progress very rapidly but you have obviously you, know, you need to have like good rapport with your people your people should not think that you are such a like look bad person <laughs> uh, okay so 
So yeah, that was about uh, standardized. Third thing is that uh, during your residency here, you earn pretty well, like pretty well as in uh, you earn uh, well to uh, to uh, live a good life with your family. Uh, but then the ne negative side is that uh, you don't save too much because the con in Germany there is no much like the concept of sa saving is not much because all the things are taken care of through insurance. You have health insurance, you have job loss insurance, you have um, uh, Yazo other Pflege insurance and Berufs and Feischkeit insurance and all those the things are taken care of by insurance so uh, they don't save much that is why when you're working in this system your savings are uh, very low I mean obviously you can do things as per your own base finances you can try to save but the expenses are quite high over here uh, positive one of the things is that as I have told you like in the last sentence that uh, you do not operate too much but uh, you see too much. You see a lot of things. You see a lot of, uh, you see high standards. You see the things that are given textbook. Like uh, the textbook things that are there, the, 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 the protocols that is given, everything is followed. There is no thing that uh, because of lack of resources or because of difficulty or uh, it is not followed or we have modified it somehow. No, it's not like that. The way it is given in standard, standard textbooks, that, that like it is followed to that point. So that is a good thing that you learn for a higher standard. Surgical skins you develop later, but the entire system, the quality that you learn uh, from the beginning here itself. Uh, Good lifestyle. I mean that. I need mean, not say everybody know the difference between the life in the lifestyles between uh, developing countries and developed countries. Uh, but then for that lifestyle, you pay that. Okay, you pay a huge chunk of your salary for uh, as taxes and other expenses. So yeah, the pros and cons that are like that. Uh, one thing here I would like to mention uh, uh, on the same lines uh, that um, some people say that okay, you do your MBBS or you do a PG from uh, India. For example, then come to Germany for fellowships. Let me uh, clarify on that point that uh, if you do your PG from India and you go to uh, for fellowships to other countries, for example, US or UK or nowadays people are going to South Korea or any other country, Australia or New Zealand, that is all fine. There you go, you do your one year fellowships, two years fellowship, whatever it is, you do that. When you're doing, when you're planning to come to Germany after your PG in uh, India, you will have to start your PG again, okay? If you are planning seriously to work in Germany, you have you will have to start your PG again from right from the beginning, okay? Uh, fellowships, what people Germany first of all does not have like concepts of fellowships. Whatever there are websites, there are universities which say that okay, we offer like six months fellowship or three months fellowship. Some uh, private institution uh, like some organizations also sponsor fellowships. So I have talked about fellowships in another video, uh, link to which I will not post. You can search on that. There are, I mean, search on that uh, on the channel. Uh, so they uh, this this fellowships. What happens is that that there you will not learn if you are coming as a suppose you are a gastric surgeon. Um, in India and you you say that okay now I will go to Germany to do six months fellowship till the time you don't have a Deutsche Approbation a German medical license you will not be allowed to touch the scalpel so you can come on a fellowship you can uh, you can watch the wards you can see how things are you will also be allowed to go in the operation theater sometimes you will also allowed be to scrub with the surgeons but you will not apart from holding the retractor you will not be doing anything sometimes that also will not be allowed to. Sometimes you will just. I, mean, the, I want when I watched uh, some consultants uh, who were consultants in orthopedics in their own country. Some were from China, some were from Tanzania, and they came on a fellowship, six months fellowship from from the uh, like E Fort, the European Federation of Orthopedic and Trauma. So uh, they were they were going in different operations, but they were just watching. And uh, they were trying to ask questions in English. Uh, surgeons who knew some English spoke to them in English. Uh, otherwise, they did not understand what is going on. What benefit it brings is that you get a certificate that you were here. Uh, if, if that is the purpose of your visit, to get a certificate in the name of fellowship, then fine, you can spend that money and waste your time. Uh, but uh, and the view, seeing that what you see as surgery, that you can see on Google also, on YouTube also. So those surgeries are available on YouTube also. For that, you need not uh, come to Germany for fellowships. Because uh, you can imagine that without a medical license, how can you work as a doctor? 
and for medical license you need like what are the requirements the bit soil level that's the b2 language level uh, for that you have to study the language for 8 to 10 months uh, at least uh, then to pass the exams the fox track perform then the kentness perform exams so when you complete all these things then you become like then you get the medical license and after that you can either work as a, like do you can you can work basically as a doctor your position then becomes uh, egal like whatever position you if you somebody takes you as a head of the department then fine i mean you get the head of the department post because you are deutsche approbation that is very unlikely but just for an like sake of example okay so these these are the points that i wanted to mention about the training uh, uh, in germany uh, for this mostly i have concentrated on surgical branches because i have more experience towards surgery but internistish side the, the internistish internal medicine doctors they are also not very different only benefit in internal medicine is that you have books you can sit at home read your books you see the patient you apply the knowledge that you have read at home and you can progress faster in surgery it is that you have the skills like you have to learn the skills that means you somebody has to show you somebody has to take your hand and like mentor you and to find that kind of mentor is difficult in intern internistish side internal in internal medicine you can learn as much as you want and you can uh, like progress as fast as you can so there's nothing there's nothing about training like who what do you expect yeah about the functional like the functions that they call for example if you want to learn uh, say echocardiography if you want to learn say a catheterization as cardiologist or if you want to learn interventional neurology or interventional radiology for that obviously then you will need some teacher somebody who will teach you and with time if you pro prove yourself in other branches like other fields of work then somebody will actually teach you the interventional things also so yeah with time uh, it comes so i think uh, with this i have sufficiently explained about the pros and cons of uh, different um, uh, like different aspects of pg in germany uh, most candidates that like um, ask about yeah the different aspects about the the training itself people very few people ask that is why i made this video uh, people who are watching this video i would request you to like this video if you like the information if you don't like the information please write in comment what you don't like and what you'd like to improve uh, nowadays i'm getting a couple of haters or or a few few haters who don't like me or don't like my videos uh, luckily they are not students they are also consultants so then it's relatively egal uh, for me uh, okay yeah and uh, apart from uh, that i would yeah i would like to invite you guys who are watching this video to our facebook group um there you can uh, like communicate with other candidates and not only it's it should not be that i only like i should always uh, talk and give you uh, information you can share information about your among yourself as well because uh, since uh, if you have learned if you have spent some months doing research on this then you have pretty much a uh, lot pretty lot information you can share that with other people as well and then uh, collectively everybody can progress and everybody can uh, can benefit from that all right so with this i conclude this video thank you very much and as i told please like and uh, share this video with your friends and colleagues so that uh, like uh, these the ideas that they have they just they also get some perspective basically about the post graduation in germany and uh, they are not under some influence like some uh, wrong ideas that they will come to germany and the next day or next week they will start operating after approbation or uh, yeah and also there is no negativity that okay no german uh, fakas is nothing german fakas because this was i mean yeah i'll take one or two minutes because um now that uh, it is bit little established uh, that okay germany offers uh, post graduation and has uh, higher uh, like skills uh, system skill set or uh, the, the german uh, trained doctors trained in germany have a higher um, better skill sets and everything those things are now established worldwide uh, but beginning when i came uh, when i was planning about that then couple of people who were uh, planning or who uh, like on this they were from um, so Russian pass outs or from China. There were there were very few people from government medical colleges in India. Okay, so and government people from government college uh, have have their own uh, in their own air uh, till they uh, come in uh, real world. Okay, they think that they are the best because they have cleared those uh, exams, maybe AIMS or PGI or All India. Uh, when they have cleared that exam and lived in that uh, that uh, bubble for like six years, that okay, we are the like the the cream and the best then they think everybody uh, down um, 
so unfortunately like i was uh, not unfortunately fortunately i was in a go- government college but uh, unfortunately we people fr- have this kind of mentality and this atti- attitude uh, i do not want to take that away i mean some some negatives should be there with everybody um, but then uh, that time it was that okay everybody is saying that okay you are from government college you are doing this uh, i mean why are you planning to go to germany why not go to another country or so that i mean i took i thought about that for a long like for a very long time uh, and then it was like see i want to do surgery i was planning for usmle if i had gotten to usmle like through usmle in us in surgery i would definitely have taken that no no question asked but that is not so simple so there is also comes a limitation of choice that there if you want to us go to us or i want to speak english all the time then you take internal medicine or pediatrics yeah Uh, but then i was not ready to compromise on that so that is why i took uh, uh, like surgical branch in uh, germany that's why i progressed towards germany for that for uh, like uh, with that uh, firm believe that i will get into it so there i would like to say that uh, you don't uh, think that uh, people who are good for nothing only they come to germany some people might be like that uh, but uh, there are some sharp people some good people some good academics uh, who take germany by choice and i have mentioned it in the very beginning of my video that uh, people initially initially when uh, video youtube videos were like my videos were new i had just uh, started writing on facebook groups or right started writing blogs so everybody who was not getting anywhere okay not getting anywhere would like say that okay now i'm not getting anywhere uh, can i come to germany i'm like yeah okay uh, you try try with no, nobody stopping you uh, you try most people like that did not come uh, they did something else or went to private colleges paid money from private colleges in india uh, because uh, you don't think or take this path as a easy path uh, it's not easy it's not easy uh, if you uh, the struggle that it takes the effort that it takes the the uncertainty that it has the visa issues and all those things uh, it has uh, with that you might even clear neat exam for that matter if you study for 2 years so one should not take this path as easy path one should take this path only when it appeals to him or her that okay i want these 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 positive things that i have mentioned and i can live with the negative things that i have already mentioned so if you can accept that then you progress towards germany if you say that no uh, i cannot then you look for any like other options all right and if you don't have any option on case you are a guy who has tried everything and don't have any option then germany is not your option trust me if you don't have any option then germany will not work out for you you have to find any other country all right then bye bye take care